You know, those are choices that you'll make as an auditor. The audit partner runs the engagement. But the audit partners today, you're going to find, are going to call in specialists like forensic accounting investigators because they know the value that they will bring. And they also know that in the choices they make, this is a pretty important one. And you'll be faced with those choices too. And don't worry about filing deadlines because you're always going to get that client pressure. Oh, don't give me any more crap about investigate, man. We got, we got earnings release in two weeks. That should go in one ear and right out the other. Do your jobs. It's really that simple. You know, it, doing investigations, looking at auditing and investigations, is really like the game of, of chess. I love chess. And if you know how to play the game of chess, you know there are 20 opening moves. <coughs> but if you really know and understand the game of chess and how to win, there's really only six opening moves. That's the difference between you as an auditor investigating a suspicion and calling in a specialist to do that investigation. Let me give you one example of, of the kinds of skills I'm talking about. Without a doubt, interviewing is the most important skill to detecting a fraud when we're called on the scene. Effective interviewing. I don't mean interviewing for facts. I mean being able to ask the right question and listen to the response and evaluate your next move. Critical. And I guarantee you haven't learned how to do that. It takes years of experience to learn how to do that. I was arrested. The LA police were smart enough to realize that the first interview of OJ was going to be critical. And they did not have anybody in the department that they trusted to do that interview well. So they hired an ex-CIA guy who, by the way, has is, is, uh, since uh, been hired to interview Taliban members in search of, of bin Laden. I mean, this guy's highly regarded and, and very good. And I, I spent some time with him. And uh, I was talking to him about interviewing techniques and, and what he uses. And he gave me this example of OJ. He said, they hired me to interview OJ. So as I looked at the evidence and I thought about how I was going to structure my questions and what I wanted to know, you have to, you have to set up a hypothesis and then prove it or disprove it. His hypothesis says that OJ was at Nicole's last night and he probably committed the murders. That's his hypothesis. Now he has to ask the right questions to find out if that's true or not. So he says, I needed to know as quickly as possible 